Tips on how to obtain superior F-scan recordings. Objective, to obtain the highest quality F-scan recordings through better knowledge of the census performance factors. Things to consider are calibration, equilibration, trimming the sensor, securing the sensor in the shoe to minimize creasing and crinkling, dropout or opens and shorts, pressure saturation, wearing socks, sport sensor, and the foot fully on the sensor. Calibration is the method by which the raw digital output of the sensor is converted to actual pressure units such as PSI or millimeters of mercury. Creating an accurate calibration is essential for collecting good data. The F-Scan system offers three different calibration routines. We have walk calibration in which the patient needs to walk with a normal gait pattern. It's for walking only. We, wouldn't, we would not use it for running, standing, jumping, or athletic performances. It's the easiest and fastest method to use, and it's recommended for clinical applications. It is not recommended for research applications. The second method is step calibration. Step calibration would be used for walking, running, and athletic movements. This is also the alternative method for subjects where walk calibration cannot be used due to abnormal gait pattern. It's a good choice for research applications. Point calibration, a third choice, would be used for standing or balance applications. Point is also the previous calibration method for older versions of the software. And it's, again, excellent for research applications. Something else you might consider, especially for research applications, is equilibration. What equilibration does is it applies a uniform pressure to the active area of the sensor. The F-Scan software determines and applies a gain or scale factor to each stem cell so its digital output is equal to the average digital output. Equilibration compensates for differences in sensitivity between stem cells due to manufacturing or repeated use of the sensor. Equilibration is recommended for research applications. Trimming the F-Scan sensor. The goal in trimming the F-Scan sensor is to cover the entire insole of the shoe without exceeding the insole boundaries. We want to cut between the stem cell columns or the sensing elements, and we do not want to cut through the connection points or the silver dots. And we want to cut contours near the tab. Here's a close-up look of the sensor, and we can see the connection points, or the silver dots, that sit on top of the wide green stripes. The wide green stripes are the active sensing elements. On the reverse side of the sensor, we have the connection points running through the middle of the sensor. And again, the wide green stripes are the active sensing elements. Here's an example where we cover the entire insole of the shoe without exceeding the insole boundaries. When cutting the sensor, especially in the midfoot region, we want to make linear cuts cutting between the sensing elements. The outermost sensing elements that we are going to keep on the sensor, we would like them to remain whole. You can see the linear cuts on both the 
top and bottom of the sensor in this illustration. This is an example where the outermost element has been cut through. You can see we have partial active elements on the top and bottom of the sensor. And this is not a this is an incorrect example of how not to trim the sensor. Again, do not cut through the connection points, those silver those little silver dots. Either cut them away completely or leave them whole. And we want to minimize cutting into the sensing elements. When we cut near the contours or near the tabs, we want to cut a, make a contour cut, which will minimize the sensor's ability to, to rip or tear. After we trim the sensor, we want to flip the sensor over and check the points on the other side to see if we've cut through a connection point. If the connection point is cut through, as you can see in this example on the left, then we want to go and trim it completely away so it's a nice clean cut and the, the, the outermost element is completely whole and undisturbed. This is an example of a correctly trimmed sensor. Securing the sensor in the shoe. Extremely helpful to take two-sided tape place a piece approximately two inches at the heel region and at the toe region on the side of the sensor that is facing down toward the insole. Press it down into position. This will hold the sensor in place and minimize the crinkling. Minimize the sensor shifting in the shoe as a patient is walking or moving. Dropout. With dropout, traces become disconnected or non-responsive, causing the sensor to read lower total force. In this example, if you look at the right foot, you can see dropout near the area of the fourth metatarsal. These traces have become non-responsive and they will not collect data and the sensor should be replaced. Pressure saturation or PSAT. After calibration is performed, the sensor software calibrates and computes a pressure saturation. That saturation value is displayed here. We look at the second line, it says saturation pressure 153.109 PSI. What that means is that this sensor can read a pressure up to 153 pounds per square inch. If a higher pressure is applied, it will underreport as it cannot read above that number. When considering pressure saturation, we'd like to see a number under 250 PSI. Once the sensor has exceeded 250 PSI, it's probably a good idea to discard it and use a new one. Here again is pressure saturation displayed in a different location within the software. This is inside of the calibration window, and you can see at the top of this calibration window, it's reporting 153.109 PSI as the saturation pressure. Wearing socks. The subject or patient should wear thin socks 
that wick moisture and provide a low friction surface. For example, the sock line is marketed for hiking. Worn inside hiking boots against the skin are ideal. Women can wear nylons or pantyhose. Thick socks cushion high pressure areas and increase pressure in regions that would otherwise be low pressure. The effect of thick socks is to distort the pressure distribution. Use socks made with Coolmax, a Dacron polyester four channel fiber that wicks moisture away from the skin. This allows the foot to slide against the sensor, reducing shear effect. TechScan offers the sport sensor. The TechScan sport sensor is laminated with adhesive vinyl on both sides, making them thicker but less prone to cracks along the traces. The sport sensors are excellent for athletic or aggressive applications. They reduce dropout. Foot completely on the sensor. If the plantar surface of the foot is not completely covered by the active sensing area, the data will be compromised. This can occur when the sensor is under trimmed, the sensor is not well positioned under the subject's foot within the footwear. In this example, in the left image, the sensor is aligned correctly within the footwear. In the right image, the sensor is out of alignment within the footwear. Part of the subject's load goes through the active part of the sensor, and part of the subject load misses the sensor. Thank you. If you have any questions, please contact us at 800-248-3669 or locally in Boston, 617-464-4500. Or you can email us with questions at marketing at techscan.com or visit our website, www.techscan.com.